Sit down, have a cup of coffee, eat your breakfast outside, and watch some and watch TV. Some TV. Let's see how far this thing comes out. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You could fit a small human in here. This goes so deep. Let's see me being all of the five foot 11 that I am can. I sit on this bed and lay on this bed and have the sleeping space that I really need. This isn't that channel, that we're a family friendly channel here, people. In this video, we're gonna give you a tour of the Fleetwood Discovery 44B. And now I'm super excited to check this discovery out because we love our Fleetwood Discovery and we think it's perfect for family travel. So we're gonna take you inside and show you just why that we love the Discovery for families on the road and also why we love our Class A's for families as well, so stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. Of. This is like the creme de la creme of RVs. Like just from fine details like the embroidery in the seats, you've got your bunk right here for kiddos, but look at how clean this looks in here with the light colored interior. This just really feels so bright and airy in here. And already just standing here looking around, this is why that these are really just absolutely beautiful for families. You've got your dinette here, which look at how many people can sit around the table here. I mean, this is your family meal spot right here. And then you've got tons of sleeping in this for your family too, which we're gonna show you that in just a minute. So make sure that you keep watching. But I love these U-shaped dinettes. I feel like they make a great use of space. Whereas some of the other more traditional dinettes, just, you know, you could have done that better, right? So this is nice. The whole family can sit around and have dinner at the table together in this particular rig. So in this particular Diana area, this also converts to a sleeping space. So table's gonna drop down, this is gonna come across, and then you've got this for sleeping. Now, let us give you a little bit of a hint and a clue about traveling with kiddos, especially if you plan on doing this maybe for a longer time, or if you're a grandparent with potentially some grandkiddos. As they get older, <laughs> they're gonna want to bring a friend or two along for the ride and that's great and that's great experience for their friends but you need to think about where are you going to put everybody to sleep so having a dinette that converts into extra sleeping space is super convenient for those times when you just might end up with a straggler or two coming along for the ride so one of the cool things that i love about having opposing slides like this has is just plenty of space to stretch out. So you've got your two opposing couches here. You've got kind of your theater seats here, and then you've got your convertible sofa here. So you've got the TV here that comes up on the televator and goes back down. So you can sit here and watch TV, or if it's one of those times where you're just not wanting to all do the TV thing, you've got this seating area here and this seating area here. These two front seats you've got for seating, plenty of seating for the whole family to be able to come together and just have a wonderful experience together. Now, the kitchen. I'm super excited about looking at this kitchen because, oh my goodness, there's a dishwasher. Take a look at this. I would just about sell my right arm for a dishwasher in the RV. This would be so nice. And now if you're camping at a full hookup site, which we typically do, you don't have to worry about like water usage or whatever. And I'd be using that thing all day, 
every day. That would be so nice to have. So there you go. You've got your dishwasher. And then over here, you have got your induction cooktop and it's covered really nicely with these covers so that you can use this as extra counter space when you want it. And with having no propane for cooking, that really just kind of provides an extra level of safety because you have no more open flame in the kitchen. And we love our induction cooktop. It is so nice for cooking. It doesn't put out heat in the RV. There's a great change that Fleetwood has made just switching over to these induction cooktops instead of the propane stoves in these particular models. And then you've got your microwave convection oven up here. So a convection oven is actually very easy to use. I've made biscuits in ours. So it works just very similar to your traditional oven. So anything you need to cook, you can do that right here very, very easily. And then look at this residential style fridge side by side. This is just as big, if not bigger than the fridge you probably find in most sticks and bricks. So fridge, dishwasher, stove. I mean, all of the comforts of home are right here. This is really just like a condo on wheels. And then take a look at this here. You've got a nice island that you can bring out for extra food prep space, whatever you want to do there, and then just slide it back when you're done using it so that it's not in the way of your walking path or anything like that. And then take a look here. This is pretty dang cool. Lots and lots of pantry space. So everything you need right here, all of the things very easily stored between there, your compartments down here. The one thing too with not having that propane stove is it gives you a ton more storage. So you can have things underneath here that typically would have been taken up with that propane stove space. But here you've got all of the storage for all of the things. So one thing I could not forget to show you in the kitchen here is this kind of farmhouse style sink. Now I really, really wish we had a one piece sink in our rig. This has got it. And then the other thing that's nice is just with the counter covers, you can put those on and you just have that extra space for food prep or whatever it is that you just need that extra counter space for when you're not using the sinks. Now I'm loving this kind of lighter colored interior. There's just so much about it that's just absolutely gorgeous. You've got kind of your control center stuff in there. What's behind door number two? Oh, little nook storage, which these types of storage areas, you would be surprised how handy just these little type of recessed things come in, whether it's things like remote controls or just extra papers, it's all sorts of things that you actually can store in these spaces and no wasted space for storage. That is the mantra now of every RV owner is please don't waste any space on the storage. So here you have got just a half bath, so toilet, sink and then definitely there's more storage that's in here because no wasted space this is really deep in here nice nice storage in here and i absolutely love this touch with kind of the tile area behind the sink it just makes everything in here feel very elegant and very high end i mean i feel like i'm in a million dollar rv and this is nowhere near a million dollar price tag but you really feel like you're in something that's very, very high end. And so I absolutely love all of the finishing touches and things like that. More storage there. And this is nice, just the wood painted balance that's on here versus kind of the way that the traditional ones look where, I don't know, they just feel a little bit cheap, but this is a nice painted wood balance. It just provides kind of a higher end feel. Nice little panel for all of your controls here. The fan goes up and down, not the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back into the bedroom area. Now, initial impressions, way cool. I love that this bed comes up out of the way when it's during the day. 
And you can even still sit here and, you know, if, like I usually sit in the bed to get work done. I would love if our bed did that because it would actually be more comfortable for sitting in and doing things in and then being able to lay it flat while sleeping. Just really creates more of an open feel as you're coming through this walkway area here. And then down here, you guessed it, washer dryer, which is an absolute must, absolute must anymore. You can use the RV campground washer dryers. You can, and we do on occasion if we've got some really big clothes, but there's nothing like being able to just throw in a load of laundry, get it done while you're making breakfast and not have to worry about making a second trip out. And then wardrobe space in here and or shelves. So this is adjustable. You can put the shelves however you want them, have a space for hanging clothes, really just utilize it however it is that you want to utilize it. So you've got that on both spaces there. And then let's see if I had to guess. Ah, look, Ooh, pull out drawers. The finish, the finish just feels so nice and elegant. This is the highest end with the Discovery LXE model, and it feels it. Every bit feels very high end. So you've got your door here to separate you from the full bath, but take a look at this. Not only do you have this beautiful tiled stand-up shower, I mean, this is gorgeous. This feels very much like a million dollar RV without the million dollar price tag, but look at this. You got a separate little bunk area for the kids. Look at this thing that I just realized that I didn't see before. You've got these columns, which, you know, are nice and decorative, but again, no wasted space when it comes to storage. So you got that on both sides of the sink in here. And then another thing, just looking at the finish, having this sink where it's all part of the countertop really does make it easier to a lot cleaner. You don't have any of those grooves or anything like that. So that's a nice little feature here in your sink in the master area. This is a game changer for families and absolutely amazing. And then here's another thing that I love here is that you've got each kiddo can kind of have their own closet space. So you've got the wardrobe area up front for mom and dad, and then you can say, okay, kid number one, here's your space, all of your stuff in here. Plus, these drawers. So three drawers on one side and it is identical, mirrored identical on this side where you've got the same setup over here, wardrobe, drawers. Here you've got more storage at the end of this particular bed. And then if you're grandma, grandpa, or maybe you have got a kiddo that is in college that you would maybe have some of the time, but not all of the time, these do remove and then this can just be a wardrobe. So you've got this here on a track that slides. You can center it if you would rather have this as a closet space and not a sleeping space for kids. This is very easily convertible into that closet space, but it also makes a great bunkhouse for kids. Now, I'm going to show you something because we have a lot of families that we talk to and RV life when you've got littles and you're thinking about where the little's gonna sleep. It's a whole different thing than when you start getting kids that are in those preteen and teen years, and they're the size of small adults, if not the size of actual adults. So let's see me being all of the five foot 11 that I am, can I sit on this bed and lay on this bed and have the sleeping space that I really need? We're gonna find out right now. Right now, we're gonna find out. So, feet there. Look at this. Wow. Like, I've got plenty of space up here. My feet, let's go straight. Let's not bend the legs. Feet completely straight. Head, I still got some more room. All five foot 11 of me. So, most people, most people don't sleep in a straight line anyway. Most people sleep maybe with their knees slightly bent or something like that anyway. But. This is very, very comfortable. I mean, I could actually sleep here and be just fine. We could do like the leave it to be everything, Ben. Ricky and Lucy style, separate beds. No? Mm. Okay. Oh, look at this. 
you even have like a toilet paper storage area. Put all your extra TP right there in a nice convenient location. All right, how's the room on the toilet? Let's give it oh, a- Oh, the elbow let's test. Give it, yeah. The elbow test. So here's the thing with the toilet. Do you have the room to make the motions to do the things that you need to do? I don't want to make the motions too much because <laughs> that just would get really, really weird. You've got the room to do the motions that you pretty much need to do. Hit my elbow a little bit there. Is that what it looks but. like? <laughs> do that again. Let me see that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what anybody does sitting on the toilet. If you do that and you're sitting on the toilet, you'll have to let us know in the comments below. <laughs> All right, we're digressing big time on this video. Back on task, back on task. All right, let's see you in the shower. This is not that channel. <laughs> this is not that channel, people. Okay, look, plenty of headspace in here. Again, all five foot 11 of me. I've got plenty of headspace in the shower. I love this high end feel. Oh, it's kind of like slinky. Everything just feels extremely high end in this particular rig. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous little bench. You can wow. sit down, shave the legs, whatever you want to do in here. This is just a beautiful shower. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's like a little, just a little, little storage, little storage area. Put more things, more of the things in the storage area. I love this. So this, I'm looking, this is all one slide. I can feel the seal here. So you've got a slide here and then you've got a slide where the bed is because this is all on one slide. So one, two, see how many slides. That's its own three, four then, uh, slide outs. These are opposing slides over here. These are opposing slides. Wow. Now, the big thing that you get with opposing slides, because we have opposing slides in ours, you get a ton more floor space than when you have just the one slide. So if you are traveling, especially with a family or want to have some extra people along, the grandkids, whatever, having these opposing slides is huge, especially on those rainy days when you're inside your rig. Those rainy days are going to come. We've had many rainy days or in the fall and winter when it starts getting darker earlier, it's just not as easy to be outside doing the things, you're gonna be inside. So it's nice to have that extra space when you need it. If it wasn't enough that you've got the bunks in the back and that you can convert the dinette into a sleeping space, you have got this hide aloft up here. So this has a 500 pound capacity, more than enough for a couple of teen size, small-ish, medium size adults. Now I feel like I'm sizing up adults into small, medium, and large. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you could definitely put a couple of people on this hide aloft bed very, very comfortably, no problems at all there. So easily, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and actually nine, 10 by the time you include the jackknife. So plenty of space for all of the people to be able to just get out there and live the RV life. Oh my gosh, you could fit a small human in here. This goes so deep. Look at how deep this goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, your arm doesn't reach the other <laughs> the bottom. I know, but here's what I think would be perfect for in here is like, you know, you always want a blanket when you're sitting on the couch or something like that. So you could stuff all of your couch blankets and pillows or whatever down in here. <laughs> Tons of storage there. What is this? Um, more storage. <gasps> more storage in here. It's the little button that shows the person reclining. That would make a ton of sense. Here we go. I'm along for the ride. How low can you go? That's how low. How comfortable is it? And this is the back up. It has a button that's a down button and a button that's an up button. Yeah. This is very, very comfortable very comfortable. And then you've got the little thing where you can that put nobody the, uses. that nobody uses, <laughs> but where you can put the table. If you want, you know, your little snacky snacks as you're watching the TV on the televator. It does have the, the thing, if that's what you want. And then your little lighted cup holder, because what would a cup holder be without a light? 
it would just be a cup holder then. But now with the light, you have a cup holder that's lit. <laughs> we need to get you something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about specs here. So you've got your aqua hot, so you've got plenty of hot water, 105 fresh gallons of water. Now, this would be a boondocking machine when it comes to just water capacity. Now, depending upon the people you have with you, you might have to talk to them about how to conserve water while boondocking, but tons of capacity as far as your tanks go. 100 gallons on your fuel tank. So again, you can drive all day or maybe multiple days without having to stop for fuel. So sitting up here in the driver's seat cockpit area, this is so comfortable. And I absolutely love just all of the high-end feel of the electronic gauges. So you've got everything where it's all digital and it just, you know, I don't know, makes you feel like that you've uh, hit the space age or something like that. But from a comfort perspective, this is so comfortable and the view that you're gonna get out of this windshield, it's like none other. One of the things we love about traveling as a family in a class A is you have this gorgeous, gorgeous view, but you also have a lot of travel comforts. So if somebody needs to go to the bathroom, it's very easy to go to the bathroom. Somebody needs a snack, it's really easy to grab a snack, all of these things that can be done very, very easily without having to make multiple stops, unless of course you're the driver needing to do one of those things. So it's part of the reason we just love our class A. The other thing that's great about these newer models is you've got cameras everywhere. So you've got cameras built into the mirror for kind of blind spot detection on the exterior. Of course, your rear view camera, you can keep an eye on what's going on behind you. Color display on that rear view camera, which is pretty dang cool but lots that helps from a safety perspective on these newer models just because the rv manufacturers are really improving a lot of the tech that is out there so while these are upgrades that we're adding to our used one these are things that are coming kind of standard out of the factory which is pretty exciting to see i am betting that there's a ton more storage outside and underneath so let's switch gears real fast and go outside and take a look at what's going on on the exterior so we're going to take a look at the exterior of this particular discovery now one of the things that i love that you get from any diesel pusher is kind of just more storage so be prepared to see that as we go through the exterior here but let's start with this back compartment here and this is more just your mechanical access area for some stuff got your inverter back here got some storage there there's a plant in the way <laughs> if i can move the pads over there one of the things that I really like about these storage compartments and these access panels is that they open to the side, which is just really nice from a end user perspective of being able to access everything that you need to access. So got all of your power stuff here, but then also your central vac. You can change the vacuum bags right there. We love having a central vac. It makes things so much easier for cleanup. And I'm thinking you could stick your e-bikes in here, maybe your paddle boards without having to deflate them, kayaks. I mean, crazy. you can put a crap ton of stuff in here. Can I say crap? Yeah. That's insane. Hmm? Lift and pull. Ooh. Sit down, have a cup of coffee, eat your breakfast outside and watch some and watch TV. Some TV, whatever you watch on TV. There you go. Although, you know what is so interesting is how many times we do see people at the campground having like a family movie night where you can just have like another family over and then just have an outdoor movie night. You know, and if everybody gets popcorn everywhere or sticky marshmallows, you're not so worried about it when you're outside. So it is kind of fun to have that for those gatherings. It's locked. That one's locked. They don't want you in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there it is. 
Look at that. See how far this thing comes out. Oh my goodness. Gracious. That's amazing. It goes all the way through to the other side. Put your kayaks, your e-bikes, your anything, you know, that'll fit in here. So your tools, and it all slides out. That's amazing. The click of a button. This is probably one of my favorite things about the new RV is that ours doesn't have just because of the way that it's built. But this right here is totally reason enough to upgrade to a new one. Let's upgrade. Let's do it. I think she just gave me permission to upgrade to the new RV. Oh, there's a mirror. Good, my hair. My hair looks good. I'm having a good hair day. I'm excited about the hair day. What is this? Up, down. Whoa. No, wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, that's the- Is it the fan? That's like the fan we have. Oh, it's the fan. I'm like, at first, I thought it was gonna put the toilet up and down. Oh, huh. <laughs> like, toilet seat up and down? Like, what is this? Like, where it is an automatic toilet height adjustment? No, it's just a fan. It's not that fancy, people. Paint me like one of your French girls. No, edit that out. <laughs> edit that out. We're really digressing. Maybe I'm getting hungry or something. Yeah, I'm right, digressing on the, I'm going off script. So, very high end. I have said high end. How many times am I gonna say high end? When it comes, I had like a good thing. I am betting there's a crap, I probably shouldn't say crap. We wanted to say a huge thanks to Fleetwood who is sponsoring today's video. Now we actually have a Fleetwood ourselves and we have been super impressed with the quality of Fleetwood over the years. Plus we absolutely love that part of Fleetwood's vision and really their mission is to help families come together, have fun together and experience more outdoors and with travel. You can see all the lineup of Fleetwood Class A motorhomes at fleetwood.com and we'll put that link below for you as well.